Hello YouTube, this is Tutoring Potential and today we are doing Florida's EOC and of course Geometry Assessment Practice Test Part 3. Uh, the test, the, the practice test is available uh, for download through Florida Virtual School and go ahead and print it out, uh, take it and then follow along um, and we'll do a, a sort of walkthrough. Go ahead and zoom in. One more. Okay. It says triangle MNO and triangle PQR are similar. Well, it should say triangle MNO is similar to triangle PQR, but that's sort of a minor nitpick. Uh, What's gonna? It asks, "What is the length in units of segment NO?" It wants this one here. Well, basically, if the triangles are similar, then their sides are in proportion. Um, so, angle R corresponds to angle O. Angle P corresponds to angle M. and angle N corresponds to angle Q. Let me go ahead and back that out one. Okay. So it gives me MN over ON. This side over this side is going to be equal to 42 over 33. So let's see, MN is 28. I guess I could have put all the letters in. 28 over X is equal to 42 over 33. And I go ahead and cross multiply 28 times 33 is equal to 42x and that gives me x is equal to 22 which is choice C Okay. Number 13 says Ben has a toy lightsaber and he wants to construct one proportionally smaller than his. The, okay, the light, the green portion on the actual saber is 33, the handle is 9. If the light is on the smaller version is 11, how long should the handle be? Well, I can, I'm going to set up another proportion because proportionally smaller means I have similar figures. It's basically asking the last, the last question in reverse. Um, so what I would do is I would say the, the large green over the small green, 33 over 11 equals 9 over x. Let me back out. Thirty three X equals ninety nine divide by thirty three. X should equal three. So this portion is three. Answer choice A. In the triangle below, what is the approximate value of x? Okay, again, 
we're going to have because we have parallel lines angle A is going to be equal to angle BDE so I'm going to basically I'm going to get similar triangles triangle DBE uh, is similar to triangle ABC. So, if I, okay, uh, let's see. I'll go DB over BE is equal to AB over BC. That gives me four over eighteen plus four over twenty two equals x over x plus twenty two. So now when I cross multiply. I'll get 4x plus 88 equals 22x. That'll give me 18x equals 88. Divide both sides by 18. And I get a, I get, I get 4.8 repeating, which is approximately 4.9, which should be choice C. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, and when this problem, basically, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I use this this entire length. It won't work if you do if I use this over that. I have to use this over this. Um, although I could have, I could have done right. I could have done four over twenty-two and x over twenty-two plus x. That's what I did. I could have done four over x equals twenty-two over twenty-two plus x. So as long you just have to keep the ratio the same. Uh, and basically, these are similar triangles because these two parallel lines mean also that that these angles are equal and angle B equals itself so that's um, angle 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 similarity okay 15 what is the length of segment AB to the nearest tenth of a meter all right. This is a special right triangle. This one I don't this one I can't say is a special right triangle. Just looking at it, I can say this is 90. Okay. Well, in a 30 60 90 triangle, the ratio of the sides are x x root 3 and 2x. What that means is across from across from the 30 is our smallest. This is across from the 60 and this is across from the 90. So the hypotenuse is going to be twice the shortest side. So the shortest side is 7. This uh, DC is 7 root 3. And now even though I don't know that this is 60, in fact it isn't because this is a different length, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem uh, to find, I'm going to use the hypotenuse squared minus one leg squared to get the other leg squared. So this would be db squared, we call it b squared. So this is 13 squared minus 7 root 3 all squared.
which is 169 minus 49 times 3 which is 22. So this is going to be the square root of 22. So to the nearest tenth of a meter should be 7 plus the square root of 22. Again, you'll need a calculator that does at least square roots. And this approximation gives me 11.69 so to the nearest tenth of a meter is 11.7 right once I have square root of 22 I have an irrational number so it wants us to round to the nearest tenth of a meter so you just have to make sure that your approximations are well number one what they ask for um, and just a few decimal places will be enough for this root 22 and then you have to round it to to the nearest tenth Oh, sorry about the noise. Okay. Um, I just want to point out, just for a second, you may notice um, numbers and figures here. Um, and all that is is that corresponds to some skill um, that Florida has determined they want you to know. No, nobody can rattle off the top of their head what ma.912.g.5.3 is. Um, so everybody's still working out the best way <laughs> to, to go about systematically teaching everything that everybody wants to teach for geometry and get everybody to um, be able to, to pass this test. Uh, this uh, I'm I'm not going to actually get to number 16. So if you want to, you can you can cut this off now. Uh, but what's happening is uh, eventually they're trying to go to where everybody is going to be teaching the same thing at the same time, which is just logistically not possible. Uh, so they're going through a whole overhaul of you know benchmarks or standards. So those numbers may be already meaningless. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Okay, I guess time is up. I'm going to go ahead and start with number 16 on the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, sorry about my rambling at the end, but please go ahead and ask questions and comment on the videos. Uh, thanks again for watching. Bye.